Good morning, guys. Doug Roderick, Sierra Drifters Guide Service. Get my mask on there a little higher. Here on the Upper Owens River. In January, no snow, but great fishing as usual. Got one hooked up right now. Let's take a look. All right, angle it upstream a little. There we go. I'm trying to get these fish into the softer water and out of the current so they get oxygen and can keep their stamina up. Yep, nice and slow. Okay, go ahead and step Trevor to your right for me. Keep that upstream angle. Yep, one more step, two more steps to the right. There you go. That's the perfect spot for landing. Nice soft water. You can see above my shadow there. This one I think is a little bigger than the last one we just released. Some nice male and female rainbows in here. Yeah. And then let him go. He's still got a lot of gas in him. This one might have a diesel engine on him. He's, uh, he's got a little more, a little more power. in there as you can see there's just no snow out here except for the very high mountains in the background we got a couple more of our guys downstream of us So he's just kind of hanging in the current. So just yeah, keep that uh, keep that angle he had before. But that one's good right there. If he gets too far downstream, we'll go back. So go go back now a little. Yep, nice and slow on those rod swings. We don't want to do it too fast where we dislodge that hook. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, he's probably still got another run in him, so we're gonna let him go. But you can try lifting right there. Yep, there he goes. He didn't like that extra pressure. These are big fish, you guys. They don't come in super fast. Especially depending on the type of hooks you use and the, how many pound test your leader is. You don't want to horse them because you can pull the hooks out of their mouths. All right, reel. Watch that rod angle just kind of Point it up over the fish a little and reel. There you go. Let him go. There he goes again. Every time this fish gets close to the net, you can see my shadow here in the net. He takes another run. There you go. Now he's coming upstream a little, so keep that angle. Yeah, keep him coming. And then if he keeps coming upstream and goes into that current a little more, we'll try to swing over. Now swing your rod over my way and we'll see if we can pull him across that current. All the way over my way. There you go. Yeah. Get him out of there. Look at the nice rod angle. We're getting him over. Okay, now come. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Now strip up almost. Oh. <clears throat> let go. Let go. Let go. So this fish, you guys, we've uh, caught him on some eggs today. Some pheasant tails. And this one's on the SD crawler. Remember that one. The SD crawler in red. Um, with this warm weather, we're seeing a lot of these fish start feeding again, rather than focusing on the spawn. So if you look back in the eddies here, you can kind of see some dimpling, some fish popping. There's even some big fish feeding on some midges, which is rare this time of year. But pretty cool. All right, Trevor, reel. Keep reeling. Okay, now. Yep. Now start start lifting your rod tip up over your head. Let him go a little. Let him go. Yep. Let's get him back back in here again. Yeah. Okay, rod tip the other way now. Swing it over more, more, more. Let him go back. Trying to keep him in this pool here. Once they get downstream of us with that ripple, it becomes quite the battle, and we end up chasing them down to Crowley Lake. Okay. Perfect. Fish is coming up way up over your head. And we got him. Look at that. 
worm strategically placed right in the mouth. Hey. Show, show you guys the worm. Sorry. <laughs> that was the uh, the yelp of uh, success there. All right. Yeah, a worm-eating fish. And this one is a female. So we're gonna get this worm out, and then we will continue. You wanna hold that for me there? Yeah, heck yeah. We got a little wrapped up here with the extra leader and the other fly. And give me a little slack there, Trevor. Sorry. Thanks. good hook set on this fish yeah and he hammered this worm it's barbless hooks this time of year up here make sure you guys do pinch your barbs yeah there sometimes even a barbless hook penetrates better than a barbed hook because you don't have to pass the barb to get the hook to go in further so that came right out. And this fish has a special treat for us. He actually has somebody else's San Juan worm with extra line wrapped up in him. So we're gonna do some, some minor uh, freeing of him here and try to get all this, this line off of, him, off of him. Let's see, we got our hook out. We got the somebody else's San Juan worm out of him. So we know this one is uh, definitely likes worms. That's proof right there. There we go. And look at the size of this guy. Look at the tail on this thing. Look at this fish. He's gonna go a good five, five and a half pounds, full life. The best thing you guys want to do is keep these fish in the water after a long battle. Notice I didn't net the fish and yank them on shore. That's a death sentence, you know. It's like running a marathon and then somebody taking your head once you cross the finish line and holding it down in a bucket of water. You probably wouldn't be able to stay under too long. So it's the same, same thing with the fish. Beautiful fish though, nice and silvery. About 21, 22 inches, I'd say about five and a half pounds. All right, you guys, well, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you want to come up here for some great fishing, um, you know, we still have lodging shut down, but if you can find a way to make it happen, a lot of guys are camping, doing stuff like that with no snow, it's um, pretty easy to do. So, thanks, we'll see you guys next time.